Hey guys, I want to animate something, but I don't know what to make. Got any suggestions? <laughs> Maybe no one will notice by the time it's finished, right? Hey everyone, Rama here. Do you want to know how I animated this? Let's learn. Before we start, let's choose a character. I'm going to select uh, Alice. Huh, that's new. Mm, what outfit should I use? Nice. Okay. Uh, no. Hmm, sure, why not? And for the stage... I don't know, you know what? I'm just gonna use a blank background. These are the tools I'm going to use. Let's see the process. Okay, I already have the sketch. And I've drawn all of Alice's heads and expressions. If anyone's wondering why I decided to make this dance animation, well, back in November 2023, I asked some of my friends on Discord. I asked, Hey guys, I want to animate something, but I don't know what to make. Got any suggestions? One friend suggested me to animate the My Pet Dog Adam meme video, but I wasn't keen on designing new characters and backgrounds for it. Then another friend popped in with, What about that Lollicard Requiem dance animation? People are doing reanimations with their own characters on YouTube. Maybe you could use your OC Alice for that and just like that I was like hey sure why not I actually didn't know the lyrics translation at the time when I started animating the rough sketch I only discovered it while working on it and I thought <laughs> maybe no one will notice by the time it's finished right never mind one of my friends did point it out but hey despite the mistake I'm still happy with my animation be happy with what you made so the first thing I'm going to do is to draw the spinning frames I'm appropriate. In Shigure Ui's original dance animation, she spins 4 times. So I'm going to make Alice spin 4 times. Why? Well, because after I create the spinning frames, I'll proceed to draw all of Alice's separate body parts for each frame in the animation. Keep in mind that the spinning frames are not part of a bone animation, but rather a hand draw animation. Alright, the first spin is done and here's the result. Next up, we try the second spin. What's the difference between bone animation, also known as twinning animation, and hand draw animation? The big difference is that in hand draw animation, you draw every single frame by hand. That's why it takes so long, every tiny movement requires a new drawing. But for bone animation, you just need to put the body parts of your character that you already made into the animation software, then assemble and move them whatever you want. It may still take some time drawing the body parts, and once you start animating them, it'll take less time to do it. Okay, the second spin is done, and here's the result. Now we draw the third and fourth spins at the same time because it's only two frames. You might have noticed that Alice is wearing a t-shirt with Jax's face on it. Initially, I designed two t-shirts for Alice. The first one had a fish design because she likes seafood or eating fish like sushi. And the second one had Jax's image on it. This decision was influenced by the popularity of a pilot animation on YouTube in October 2023 called The Amazing Digital Circus where the character Jax originally I asked my friends on Discord which t-shirt will be better for Alice, and most of them chose the one with Jax. The third and fourth spins are done, and here's the result. 
Next video, I will import the spinning frames and body parts into TurnSquid to create the animation. If you find this process helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy creating!